Hi guys, uh, Nick here. Um, I said I'd upload a video of my uh, equipment, what I have, what I came to Spain with, which is bloody day. I didn't think so at the time. I thought well, once I got my clubs over, I'd be good to go and I could sort of compete and, and sort of play just the same I always had done. Um, unknown to me, golf had changed quite quite a dramatic amount in uh, uh, in 25 years um, to find that drivers were going further, three woods were sort of going further, playing higher. Um, the irons were going further, everything had just completely changed. Um, they didn't use glue anymore to put heads on the shafts. It's all done by screws and wrenches and stuff like that. So it really is a real learning curve for me now coming back into golf. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my clubs, what I came over with, um, and then I'm going to move on to the newer clubs. Um, and. Uh, if it gives you some some help at all, then that's great. So we will start with my absolute baby. I love this driver so much, and it's very dated. It's a lovely, lovely club, and it's a club that has has never caused me any trouble. Minzuno MP double the one. It's uh, nine degree stiff shafted flex in that, and I just adore it. This club, I think it's beautiful. It's so difficult to take this out of my bag. Um, so that's, that was my driver. For safety, I've always carried this, and this is my Ping Eye 2 iron. For you older golfers, you'll uh, remember that one. And the reason that I, I carried this club, I used to carry this club, was if everything, nothing was working, this always worked, <laughs> and it'd always get me into play, and I could sort of put a score together just using this off the tee if my woods weren't up behaving. Um, so that's my Ping Eye 2 iron. Again, very dated. My irons, um, I are MP 30s Minzuno, and they're like a bit of a muscle back blade. Um, again, very very dated, and, and again, I, I absolutely love these clubs. I thought there was there was the bee's knees, um, but obviously not, because times change and uh, modern technology takes over. Um, I also carried two wedges. Um, which I've not got them all now, one of them broke um, and the other was a love wedge which I'm not overly keen on love wedges, never have been um, I will do some videos on chipping and pitching and stuff like that um, and I will use a love wedge but I prefer to use a sand iron so that's the reason that's not there my putter is the same putter I'm still using which is a ping down the F um, and it, it just seems to uh, all them for me, I seem to do really well with, with putting with that, um, and that's it really. Um, I did have one addition to my club, uh, to oops, sorry, to my uh, to my bag whilst over here. Um, I never used to use fairway woods very much at all. I never seem to get on with them very well. Would much prefer to use my two iron. Um, but whilst over here in a charity shop, I come across this, and again for you all the golfers. This was the original when Callaway brought out the big Bertha, little five wood. And you can see on there, it cost me five euros. What a bargain. Um, as time's gone on, I've, I've sort of got a bit more used to that. I quite like it. But again, it's just behind the times. So, right, so that's my old clubs. So we shall now move on to my new clubs. Um, I started doing quite a bit of research into you know, the, the modern clubs and this, that and other, and I was sort of, the yardages I was seeing and stuff, I was sort of thinking, it's got to be within the technology. Um, there's um, a guy um, called Roger Buckley, who uh, is at Ascendi with Kelney, um, who, who deals in, in second-hand clubs. Um, and I went to see Roger, and I got a, uh, a three-wood, just to begin with a three-wood, an R9 tailor-made three-wood. Um, which again is newer, it's not latest, <laughs> but that's what my banker rolls saying right now. This is all I can sort of afford and stuff, so it's more modern and I'm happy with that. At least it gets me back in the game and, and gets me keeping up with people and stuff like that and hitting the right kind of yardages. Um, I, I took this to the driver and, and oh my god, as soon as I hit it, it just went for the sky. It just went so far, so long, it, it was just crazy. Um, I don't know if you can see on there, on this you can you can move the head, you can take the shaft out, and that's all done by a little screw here. 
um, no glue anywhere in sight. Um, the, the marks on there, I can have it neutral, I can make the ball fly left, I can make it fly right, I can make it fly high. Um, the, again, more changes, it's unbelievable. Um, so then, after that, um, I then thought, I, mean, I really, really need to get have a look at some irons and stuff like that, and we, and we, we managed to get out of a demo um, speed blade, tailor-made speed blade with a graphite shaft in it. I'm used to playing like firm stiff shafter clubs, so it was it was hard to judge. I've not been playing for a long time. I'm not hitting the ball the best, so I'm sort of like spraying it a little bit. Um, and I've got graphite shaft in it. We steel. I'm normally used to steel shafts, um, so it was hard to judge. The ball definitely went further, but sort of consistency, consistency in ball flight and direction. I just want overly sure. So. Whilst I was out with one of my customers one day, um, I was saying that I was looking for a set of irons and I wanted some tailor-made irons because I was so impressed with three wood and, and like I say, I liked the way the ball flew. It just seemed to fly off the club face. Um, and we struck a deal because he got a set of M4 um, tailor-made clubs. Um, so he says, you play my windows and uh, you can have them. So that was, uh, that was great. So. I, I took them and, and had, a, had a go with them. The head I found with them was a little bit chunkier. Um, I think those are hit, aimed at a 15 handicap, 15 handicap, sorry, to a 20 handicap. Um, so, and I did looking down on the top of them, they did look a little chunky. Um, I sort of, so I was sort of thinking, once I start hitting the ball well, is it gonna sort of maybe put me off a little? Um, so anyway, I, I did swap them. So the irons that I'm uh, using now are N S PSI, sorry, tailor-made, um, and they've got a steel shaft in them, which is a nice shaft. I seem to get on. They've also got the um, the little safety bars here, um, supposed to help with the any misses towards the toe or heel. The ball's supposed to still get the same sort of distance. Um, they've got this this in again. It's all designed to help you now these are aimed more from what let to believe from like a 15 handicap down to scratch so i've been in them really happy with them like i said the ball fly is, is is very very impressive how it flies it goes high it comes down nice and soft um, and and they're just so long my old seven iron i used to it about 150 yards and this 7 iron, I can eat 165 at push 170. Um, so it's it's a no-brainer really. You, you just have to move with the times. Anybody that's got older gear, you seriously have a look at upgrading your gear because you know it can make all the difference. It can be the difference between like two club lengths to club length. But when you're stood there and you've got a 7 iron in your hands, when you could have a 9 iron in your hands, it, it makes a whole lot of difference. The hitting out the toes with a newer club, the, the ball's just it's more or less getting where you need it to go. It might the direction not might not be quite right, just a little bit off to the left or the right, but you know, heavily out the toe, it's still getting up there. You're only gonna be left with a little chip on the green and then you put in. Um, so it's um, and then the latest addition to my bag was this bad boy. Um, I've put on my Facebook page, I, I hit it yesterday, um, just put the camera behind the ball and, and it just it just goes miles. Um, this driver this this driver pitches where my old driver finishes. Um, again, you've got to be looking 20, 30 yards on your drives and stuff like that, and it just seems so easy to it. Again, it's very it's, this is dated, but it's it's a hell of a lot newer than what I've got. So this one again, we've got the, the swivel head on it there where we can hit it a lower flight trajectory, we can hit it higher, we can hit it normal, lower. Um, and again, it's just all done with this little ratchet key. Just pull that out, take the head off, turn it around and, you know what I mean? I, hopefully I'll do some videos on, on flight and start messing about with the head on these and, and just sort of seeing what difference we can take. Everything I've seen on it, people definitely saying yeah yeah you can definitely tell the difference once you move that head round so it'd be interesting to look at all these kind of things um, 
Um, the, the three wood's got different settings on it. You could hit it left, right. You could hit it sort of quite strongly left or quite just a bit left or strong right or just a slight fade. Um, again, I've got to try these out. When I learned to play golf, you hit it right by learning how to hit it right and then learn how to hit it left and learn how to hit high and learn how to hit it low. So I think it's a, it's a bit cheaty is this, but um, like I say, it's, it's all there designed to help. So, and the, the other thing that I saw, sorry I bought was my little Cleveland, my little Rusty, 52 degree wedge. I just sort of, it's probably most used club in my bag. I use it for all my chipping, my bunker play, everything pitching. It's um, a great little club. Um, it's got, again, this this come from uh, Roger Buckley, I'm asking him to recall me. If you, if you want any uh, second hand golf equipment at all, good condition, then give him a shout. Um, and um, yeah, it's um, sharp groove, so it's, it's pretty easy to hit sort of low, low shots and get a bit of spin on ball and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so that's my new clubs. So what I need to do now is uh, get down to the driving range and hit some balls and, and embarrass myself and put a video of me hitting some balls. I'm going to compare them on the driving range. I was hoping to do that today, um, down at the driving range, to compare and see if we could see some yardages. I haven't got any like flight detail recorders or anything like that at the moment. I'm old school, it, it just have to be pacing out, but we'll get there hopefully one day. Um, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do a video there, but it's pretty murky today in Spain. I think it's, see what temperature is. It's 22 degrees, but oh, I've got to tell you, it feels so, so cold. So, right guys, so that's it. So my old clubs and against my new clubs, you can definitely see a difference. In, in modern technology and, and it'd be silly really not to use it because I'm just putting myself at a disadvantage. Um, hope to put um, a new video on soon, we're meeting both of these and seeing if we can sort of get any dis um, actual figures and you know see the actual stats on them both and stuff like that. Please like and subscribe and we can get more videos on and uh, any questions or anything you want to ask or any, any shots you want me to play that I can do a little demo. I'm going to do some teaching videos and stuff like that. I'm chipping, putting bunker play, anything. Just give us a shout and uh, I will see you soon. Cheers, guys.